Okay, hello, greetings and welcome. All right, so uh, now we're going to look at a few points to, to look at where people make mistakes in, in Tai Chi. The first mistake is there's a saying that uh, internal is feeling internally. Well, no, it's not. It's actually quite the opposite. If you focus on your physical body, your physiology will regulate your mind and your spirit senses will not activate. So if I'm relax, 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 I'm stuck to my body, that's not internal, that's external. That's no different to a, a, a wrestler training wrestling as improving their performance by relaxing, stretching, and grounding out and doing wrestling. Internal means activate the spirit senses. That means you have to concentrate outside your body for your spirit senses to wake up and become active. So this um, classical traditional tr training model in Tai Chi where you're Dantian breathing, you're, you're relaxing, loosening inside the body uh, is incorrect. The, the probability of success is under 1%. And if you look at the Tai Chi world, you can see how many people reach Jin, how many people reach Qi, how many people reach Shen, how many people reach the Wu Ji stage, how many people touch light. Very, very few. And it's because their training model is fundamentally wrong, it's hidden. So the first thing you wanna do is when you stretch your joints open, when you condense your breath and your will, put it in the space between your hands outside of your body. This will condense fluid and activate your spirit's ability to feel life force, to feel Jin. This only takes a few minutes if you have the correct theory and correct information. So focus the will, focus the breath, concentrate in the ball and accumulate your life force. By stretching the joints open, you'll release life force out of your bone marrow. You'll produce a lot of force, a lot of energy will start to accumulate. Within 15, 20 minutes, it'll feel like you've got a steel spring between your hands and you're going, wow, there's this thick, fluidic, heavy, rubbery ball between my hands. And it's a very fast process. So willpower, breath, stretch outside of the body. And the reason we put it into the ball is your energy field can interact between your hands. Your hands are the most sensitive part of the body physically. That means that the astral extension of your hands are also very, very sensitive and the spiritual extension of your hands is also very sensitive outside of the body, not inside the body. Okay, so once you've got that, you recognize that this life force is a field. It goes underneath the physical body, but it's not the physical body. It's the life force field. So once you have this frequency and you can pay attention to this feeling of life force, you simply breathe this life force in and out now you can train internally because you're not focusing on physical form, you're focusing on the life force underneath the form. So when you go to release something in your body, the release is much deeper. Okay, so this, uh, this, uh, in this method of working with life force, you'll very quickly realize that when a person puts a physical force on you and you hold your awareness inside life force and you relax it through the field of life force, your fascia activates. The fascial web of the body supports your, your life force field. Your life force radiates through the fascia. The fascial web is a riverbed of the meridians. This is what allows energy to flow through your body really efficiently. Fascia wraps around every cell. It wraps around every organ. It wraps around the bones. Life force radiates primarily, not solely, but primarily through the fascial web. So by tuning into life force and stretching and amplifying it, you are fundamentally tapping into this first layer of internal training. This is what internal training is. Internal training is not relaxing and loosening your body. That's physical training. Very, very big difference. Okay, so, so from there, what do we do to refine our energy? We, we release time. You, you tap into that feeling of life force. You've released it around your body, your, your whole body pore breathing. You've recognized there's a field of life force underlying everything that exists. All living things are vibrating on this field of life force. <clears throat> and if their physical body is well synchronized, the life force will adhere and fuel them. So life force is not only coming from this life force field, it's coming from air, it's coming from water, it's coming from food, it's coming from the earth, it's coming from other living beings. If you're feeling low on energy, and someone you care about gives you a hug, their life force boosts your life force and you feel better. If you're feeling down and someone hugs you, 
you, you feel more up. If you're feeling sick and someone hugs you, they pick up your energy. Uh, so there's always this exchange of energy of life force between you and other people. People are, are energy batteries and qi gong is working with the battery. Energy work. Qi, energy, gong, work. So you're working with energy. If you're doing some type of oddball stretching exercise, it's not qi gong. If your mind isn't focused on qi, you're not doing qi gong, working with qi. So remember, first get the feelings, develop them, and then work with them inside movement, and then you're on the path to doing qi gong. So this next stage is releasing time. So we slow the energy down. We breathe the life force in, we're on that field, and then as we stop, we pause the mind, enter the stillness, everything slows down, and we breathe the life force out. <clears throat> the slowing down takes you from the vital to the astral space. It takes you from jin, life force, to chi, astral energy. So release of time transforms the energy from one state into another. And we call this the first transformation from jin to chi, from life force into living astral energy. Now, what are the signs that you're doing it correctly? The energy will get thicker and thicker. That's the first sign and it will become slower and slower. So life force, jin is actually quite static -y and fast. So when you're in resonance with life force and doing the form, there's a, um, you can speed up very easily. You can, you can do a shunt and do a thunderbolt and the energy will synchronize with that because life force vibrates at a very, very, very high speed. Where astral energy and those astral realms where these energies exist are released of time. So your astral body started accumulating memories when you're inside your mother's womb and they're referencing this timeline from self-awareness to the present moment and projecting out towards the future as working up and down, working towards your goals and using the learning of the past to, to generate a, a personality, a survival instinct and so forth. So the astral body is very, very uh, released of time and when you start relaxing into the astral realms, the time continuum is totally different to the physical realm. And uh, you'll start to experience this timeline that as you astrally breathe, you'll stir up emotions in your astral body from the past, and you'll see how they're affecting your present um, behavior and how it's gonna affect your, your future. So this, this continuum, you get an opportunity to start releasing these emotions where you astrally breathe, something comes up, and it's time to say goodbye to an emotional pattern. Say, ah, oh, okay, you're, you're affecting my, my uh, life and time to lift it up, dissolve it, float it, say goodbye to it. You can show gratitude for it, for what, you've, what it's taught you and then let it go and release it out of your personality. So you can go timeline all the way back to, to when you're in your mother's womb. Look at these emotions and refine your chi. This is chi refinement, looking at the black and white mirror of your soul, looking at who you are as a person, looking at your lifestyle and astrally working with that and making adjustments so that your lifestyle fuels your spiritual growth, fuels you, makes you a better person, gives you a better life, a better quality of thinking, a better experience. And by this cleaning up, refining of the qi, you're going to find that um, when you do qigong, you have more awareness of the qi. Emotional blockages, um, uh, weak behaviors, uh, anything that takes away your willpower. If you drink alcohol, your willpower goes down. If you take marijuana, your willpower goes down. You become a sheep towards the habit. You become a slave to your master and your master is your addiction. So by overcoming those addictions, it puts you in charge. You're the master of your experience. So this is where you refine your chi. You, you clean it up. The whole spiritual path is a path of purification, of refinement of the, the static of thinking, the static of emotion, and the static of your body. That's the spiritual path. When you're refining the static, everything's equalizing and raising in frequency. Remember the Buddha said Nibbana is a release of attachment, aversion, and delusion. It's a release. And of the four divine abodes, equanimity is the only one that takes you to Nibbana. So equalizing in Hermetics, we call this magical equilibrium. So creating equanimity in your mind, creating equanimity in your feeling and creating equanimity in your body is the only path to the highest. 
So in the Christian mystical path, be still and know that I am God. Stillness, knowledge just rises, your vibrational match, the universal mind. So this stilling of all your mental states, of all your astral states, your physical states, that is the path. So when you're practicing Qigong, you want to feel energy and bring it into stillness, soften it, release it. When you bring it into stillness, your mind becomes still, your feelings become still, and your body becomes still. Okay, so I hope this helps with uh, refining, purifying, and looking at the stages of the path and uh, how, how to train Qigong efficiently and get results. Remember, if you're not focusing on the process of purification, your progress is going to be very, very slow. If you're, if you're paying an adequate amount of time to releasing static, your mind becomes more sensitive, you feel more, you understand more, and you have more clarity. Thank you for your time. Uh, see you in the next video.